Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Georgia from Teach With Me and I'm so excited to be doing this video for you today. I am filming seven things I can't live without in my prep classroom. So I'm super excited to share with you some of my little tips and tricks and where I got them from and why I use them and why I absolutely can't live without them. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome, like, subscribe, do all the things. Um, follow on Instagram and all of that. And if you're a return viewer, thank you for supporting me. I'm gonna get stuck straight into it and show you some of the things in my classroom that I absolutely cannot live without and love having. Okay, so the first thing that I absolutely love in my classroom and cannot live without is my magnetic shells. I have two different types of magnetic shells that I'm gonna show you. One of them was a little DIY job that I kind of, did myself and the other one um, was is one that's already comes magnetic and is purely made for this so I'm gonna flip around and show you um, and sort of show you how I did it okay so the first one is this beautiful magnetic shelf that I got from Amazon excuse the whiteboard marker on here it's perfect it holds my little buckets in here I've got my whiteboard markers and also my um, punctuation magnets which we use during writing time and also has my doorbell in it which I use as an attention grabber so this is super cute it comes from um, Amazon and it's already got the magnet on the back and I just popped it here and it's been there all year by the way these lights are also from Amazon and they're so cute uh, the other magnetic shelves are these acrylic magnetic shelves which look cute but are a lot more hassle than you think they are um but basically i bought magnets from bunnings which are like a circle magnet which have been very ugly hot glue oh hot glue garden on whoopsie daisies um but basically i just hot glue gun the magnets on and then we have the shelf and then i just place the books up there that we're going to be looking at this week or some books that are to do with the topics that we're doing this book is a stunner by the way um so yeah I've got two of those I've actually got a couple of more of those in the cupboard but I don't have any magnets left um but yeah just a dodgy hot glue gun job and they hold the books up so cute my next must have in a prep kindergarten classroom and you could easily adopt this for multiple year levels is the tidy tub i love 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 these so basically these tubs are just from the two dollar store um and i just put tidy tub on them with the cricket and i've got oh, five to go with my five tables at the moment we only have four tables but sometimes we have five so we've got five tidy tubs and basically a tidy tub goes on each table when we're doing a cutting and pasting activity and their scraps just go in here rather than the whole class moving from the table to the bin from the table to the bin and then i have a tidy tub manager who empties the tidy tubs um, when they're getting really full um, and that gives the kids another responsibility as well in the classroom so these are amazing they're a game changer particularly at the start of the year when Preps and kids are just learning to be part of the classroom and follow the expectations. Keeping them in their seat is ideal. Um, so yeah, we just pop the scraps into the box and then we empty them when they're done. My next one is a little class system that we use. Um, so we have the sharp and blunt containers and basically the kids put the pencils, the grey lead pencils, into the blunt bucket when the pencil is up for being sharpened and that way they know that these ones are all sharp and can be used and these ones I know need to be sharpened rather than us constantly sharpening all the time we've got plenty in the sharps container um sharps container <laughs> sharp bucket and then um we've got a few in the blunt bucket that need to be sharpened and it's a super easy way to get them um quickly grab a pencil and then you know, go back to your table and we can sharpen them at the end of the day. I have an electric sharpen, which is amazing, but so loud. So I really do prefer not to sharpen in the classroom uh, while the kids are in here um, trying to work. So we just have that system and I just run them through the sharpener at the end of the day. My next absolutely cannot live without thing is of course a Kmart product teachers in Kmart are best friends. I know that in the US Kmart's not the same as here, but here it's like target dollar spot. Like everything is so cheap, so easy to grab, very convenient. And Kmart just seems to jump on anything that teachers might want and like pump them out and then, yeah. Anyway, these containers are Kmart's scrapbooking containers. They are $6 and 
they are the bomb.com. So I have labeled the side and the top and I'll show you why I've labeled the, both of those in a moment because my storeroom, the way the storeroom runs. And basically I have these for like everything. I have one for rhyme, I have one for syllables, I have one for money, I have one for subtraction, I have one for chemical science, I have one for bioscience, I have one for social emotional learning. Here I have addition, I've got counting to 100 and all of my resources that I've made or printed or whatever all live in there and so when I go to do that unit I just pull the box out got everything that I need and then if I make anything else or use anything else or whatever I just pop it in there and that way it's all there it's sustainable because I'm reusing the product um, and also it is time convenient like because I'm able to just grab it and go so basically when you open these up they just have enough room for um, a4 things um, so this one I've got games I've got number lines um, and I've got some other activities in the bottom of that but they all go with addition um, and the same goes for the other boxes that I have I'll quickly show you I don't really want to show you because the store is a bit of a mess but I'll quickly show you um, what I've got there and I'll also show you a little hack that I have on labeling these um, at the moment as well because I haven't had time to print off the proper labels okay so don't judge the store room because it is a little bit hot mess I'll just give you a little snow okay we won't look at that basically I label the side because I store them this way like stacked in there and you can sort of see that I've actually written on these ones with whiteboard marker um, and that's because I haven't had the time to do the labels recently and I've recently um, bought more containers and split them down even further um, so for example I had onset and rhyme with normal rhyme and syllables but yet I bought more containers and split them into three because I just wasn't able to fit everything in um, to the containers so because of that I'm up for needing more labels and things and I just haven't had the chance but as you can see they stack beautifully like that put the labels on the side and then I can see everything and eventually they're all gonna have labels that look this pretty and they match these labels and it just makes me so happy so yeah they're six dollars from Kmart and honestly such a good storage item speaking of labels that was my next thing my next um, thing that I can't live without in my classroom. I am a massive labeler. I label everything, but it helps the kids. It helps me and it helps keep the classroom organized. So I have one of those, you know, trolley cart things. So all of those have labels. This says Sharpies and Finds. The kids are now so in tune with what that says. They know exactly what's in there and they know how to put it all back. Also a little hack, these baskets go inside there. Perfect. Okay, and then the other one is I have these kinds of labels. These are from the organized teacher. These labels are top teacher. These ones are from the organized teacher. She is so gorgeous. She has all different rainbow ones, and I just made it work for this. And another little hack about labeling with containers is I put Velcro on the back. If you can see that, it's a bit glary. And then put the so these are the hooks and then the loops are on the box and so they can easily be changed over if I need to change the box size or um, you know like I said I was pulling things out or combining things together then you can easily just pull these off and make a new one so yeah little hack but these labels are from the organized teacher I literally have everything labeled everything has a name um, and the kids are all over it and it makes the classroom so much more organized and it also means that they can take responsibility and you know if I find something that's not in the right container I'll say to them well why is this in there and then they quickly want to help and change that because they really take ownership over the classroom because they know where everything lives and there's a system for everything. The next thing that I have in my classroom that I absolutely love is my IKEA spinner. Ha, oh, so good. These labels by the way are from Miss Learning Bee but I am a little bit of a fan of the no hands up lesson um, so that kids are given time to think and also those kids that think oh I'm not gonna think about it because someone else is gonna answer it anyway also um, start to think because as soon as anyone could be asked the answer to the question everyone needs to start thinking about what the answer could be so we use this all the time it's got the kids names on it we spin it we do it for all different things sounds numbers whatever it is perfect for any age group and this spinner was ten dollars from Ikea so, good. so basically um, I'll say to them okay we're not gonna have hands up this time I want everybody thinking 
and then I'm going to spin it and whoever it lands on, they're going to give us the answer. So everyone's thinking now, everyone's trying. Sometimes I'll even have the mini whiteboards and get them to write the answer down that they have. Um, but at least everyone's thinking and participating in the lesson rather that person that just always sits quiet. And therefore, you don't know what they know, but you also don't know if they're even thinking about the question that you asked. Um, so my IKEA spinner is the bomb. These I have just literally blue tacked on so I can change it from year to year when I get a new class. Um, and the beauty is there are 24 spots. So... Fingers crossed you'll be able to fit the whole class on. Um, but if you've got a big class like of 30, then you might struggle. But make it work and it is so good. And for $10 at IKEA, how could you go wrong? The last one is a super easy, fun hack that um, I just got from Officeworks and that is magnetic tape. So the little magnetic tape comes in like a normal sticky tape dispenser and I use it for all sorts of things. Given that I teach prep, we practice recount writing all the time. So I have our four things for a recount right um, with magnetic tape on it and as we model writing or when we're reading someone else's writing we will magnetic tape like pop it up onto the whiteboard yep we've got the where we've got the who etc so the other thing I've used magnetic tape for is number lines and then when the kids use their own mini whiteboards they can put their number line up the top and it stays there for them um, but magnetic tape tape honestly such a lifesaver, way better than blue tack, and you can move it around the whiteboard so easily and it just attaches straight up and it is so good. I think the magnetic tape uh, roll is like maybe six or seven dollars from Officeworks. It's kind of expensive but it's worth um, and you get like the same amount as a normal sticky tape roll so you get a fair bit amount of, um, of tape. So yeah, that is a winner as well. Okay, so they are my seven things that I can't live without in my classroom. I hope that this helped and I will link everything below if I can still find it, the Amazon things and things like that. But please let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for any other videos that you'd like to see. I'm trying to be better and do more videos more consistently. Um, but if you have things you'd like to know or topics you'd like me to talk about, then please let me know. Otherwise, hopefully these seven things will help you in your classroom in the future. Thanks for watching.